Welcome back to lesson two of week 16. In this lesson, we'll learn how to write a recursive function. In this lesson, I'll go through the checklist of the features of a recursive function, and then we'll use this checklist to write a function that adds up a total and a second function that finds the longest word in a series of words entered by the user. And I'll leave you with an exercise to calculate a factorial. The checklist of the parts of a recursive function is as follows. Every recursive function has a recursive part where the name of the function is called inside the function. It usually has one or more parameters, a base case and some other commands which do whatever the work of the function is. So let's apply that four part checklist to a worked example. Let's create a recursive function which adds up a series of numbers input by the user. And let's say it will stop if the user types the number zero. The first item on the checklist is to create the recursive part of the function. So we've got to give the function a suitable name. It's going to add up a total, so I'm going to call it add up. Do doesn't matter. It would work if I called it x or my function, but it, it's good practice to call the function by a name that reminds us of what it does. And then the final line of the function will be the word return followed by the name of the function. That's the recursive part of the function. The next thing we have to do in our checklist is to send a parameter up the chain of functions as it calls repeated copies of itself. And what we need to be what we need to remember and pass along is the total value because that's what we need to know at the end. So our parameter is called total and I use it at the top of the function following the name of the function and at the very end of the function in the recursive part. So my function is starting to take shape. Do you remember what the next thing we need to add to make this a recursive function? We need to add the base case. In this case, we've said that the function will stop repeating when the user enters the number zero. So we're giving the user a chance to enter a number, we're converting it to integer, and if it is zero, then we've hit the base case. For the base case, we have the word return again, but this time followed by a value rather than by recursively calling itself again. So it's the total, we've, we've reached the base case, we're not gonna add any more numbers to our total, so we can pass the total back. And now our function is nearly completed. There's only one more line we've got to add, whatever commands that will make the function work. And in this case, the function uh, works by adding numbers to a total. So I've added one further line, total equals total plus, plus num, uh, the number entered by the user. So that's the recursive function to add up a series of numbers entered by the user. It's quite a short function and it does the job. Now we need to call it from the main program. I'm just printing the result of the function. Remember, we've got to do something with the final value returned by the function. In, in my example here, I'm, I'm simply printing it. So I'm printing the result of the function add up and I'm calling it with a parameter. I need to call it with a parameter because um, it, there's a parameter is used inside the function. But my initial parameter will be zero because I'm starting from nothing and I'm adding on the numbers entered by the user. And that is it. That is a complete program to add up a series of numbers. So just let's just remember that checklist. We name the function and in the last line of the function, we, we have the word return followed by the name of the function. 
we've got a parameter, which is a value that we're passing up the chain of functions. We've got a base case where we just decide what is going to stop the recursion. And at that point, we just return our value, our completed value. And then any extra lines that we need just to make the function work. And that's it. Let's try another worked example. Let's create a function that finds the longest word of a series of words entered by the user. Once again, we'll start by doing the recursive part. I'm going to call this function longest. So def longest, that starts the function. Return longest, that's the recursive part of the function. Now I'm going to add a parameter. The value that I need to pass along the chain is the, the longest word. So I'm going to call my parameter word and the parameter comes in at the top of the function and at the bottom of the function. Next, I've got to add a base case. Remember, we want this to stop at some point when the user enters a, a negative value, a, an empty string. So we're getting the user to enter a word. And if the new word that they enter is just an empty string, that's the base case. We have the word return followed by the value that we're trying to get. In this case, the longest word. So return the word. There is only one other set of commands. If the new word that the user enters is longer than the parameter word, then we'll overwrite the parameter with the new word. Our function is now completely, it works perfectly. We'll call it from the main program. Remember, we need to call it with a parameter and my parameter is just an empty string. So I suggest that you try both of these functions. You can stop and go back through the um, video and create these functions working alongside me. So to recap, when we write a recursive function, we write the recursive part. We add some parameters. We make sure there's a base case and then we put in any other commands that we need to make the function do its job. So I'm going to leave you with a task. Um, write a recursive function to calculate the factorial of any number. And if you're not clear, the factorial is written as a number followed by an exclamation mark. And it's calculated by add, uh, multiplying together all the numbers from one to the factorial number and you can work it in either direction from one up to the number or from the number down to one multiplying each number as you go so uh, using the skills that you've learned try and create a recursive function to calculate the factorial of any number passed as a parameter and if you're my student, I've got a sheet of further exercises to write recursive functions and we'll work together in class to get those done. OK, so two quite difficult lessons this week. This is the end of the recursion topic. So I hope that's that's uh, secure in your mind now. OK, bye for now.